Here's a fabulous Alvarez White Eagle rare banjo. Let's listen to what it sounds like. <laughs> different registers here. about banjos today some of the beginning banjos people buy um, and honestly if you buy a banjo for new banjo for two or three hundred dollars over the internet uh, you better have somebody who knows how to adjust it but uh, all of a sudden we have this unbelievable banjo that you can buy for practically nothing when you consider what it would cost to make this banjo today uh, and this is an Alvarez White Eagle, and you can see that it does have a uh, clamshell tailpiece on it. It has a one, actually it's a one piece, uh, but original armrest. Uh, somebody put a Grover bridge on it, which sounds really good. Uh, if you look at the pot, you can see the, this uh, bridge. It has uh, pearl uh, in, insets in it. It's kind of cool. And look at the inlay in this. It's, it's inlaid inlay and it uh, has uh, etching. That's what they call it. That's called etching. Look at that thing. And you go off the neck and uh, everything about this banjo is just totally cool. It's got the name on the truss rod cover. Look at that. More elaborate etched inlay. The thing I really love about this banjo, I'm going to turn around so you can see the keys. Uh, We'll go back up, well, turn around and see the neck and the keys, but look at this. This is uh, carving, and I don't know if they press that in or they carved, but it is spectacular, okay? And then you go up, and the only thing that's cool about the keys, these are the original keys, and it does have the Alvarez medallion back here. And I'm guessing that these banjos were fairly difficult to produce. That's why they didn't do many of them. Some of the really cool things were done in specific factories overseas where that specific factory could do really high quality work. Look at the uh, curl on this maple. Look at this uh, beautiful sunburst. Uh, and this is a maple, by the way, if you're wondering. Okay, so we'll take the resonator off. Hey, and even look at that. Even there's a, on the back of that, Unbelievable. Okay. And there's the inside of the resonator. Outside of the resonator. Okay, so that's, we already showed that. Okay, we'll put the resonator down and look at the, um, this has an extra large, really cool tone ring in it, which, which accounts for the sound uh, and has, uh, you know, the coordinator rods and has an extra thick shell, which all this stuff um, contributes to the sound because it, it's, as you can see, it's a raised head, okay? Now, generally, when you have a raised head banjo, if you have a thicker shell, it kind of softens it a little bit and makes it really good. And the raised heads are really powerful. Ralph Stanley used one. And so this is a just unbelievable instrument set up. And if you have more questions, you can go to banjowarehouse.com, and you can see more pictures of it.
You can also uh, call Andy at 404-372-5482. You can visit us. If you're going to visit us, though, give us a call the day before at least because sometimes we're out looking for banjos. If you like looking at banjos, subscribe to our channel and we'll send you notifications whenever we do new videos. Well, that's about it. So if you have any questions, give us a call and we'll be uh, looking forward to hearing from you.